Now, my question is, are you ready for Valentine's Day? Now, there are two tips I can give you. Number one, you can get the machine for your loved one, or you can buy the machine for yourself, the TM6, and make something really, really special on Valentine's Day. I'm gonna show you how to prepare a risotto with lobster, which is got beautiful shallots, onion, butter, extra virgin olive oil, tomato, a touch of brandy is buonissimo. Now, the first thing we're gonna have to do, is we got the tarragon, we're gonna put a few leaves in there. Then we got the shallots onions. If you can find the shallots, normal onions, white onions will do the job. And we're gonna add garlic, three cloves of garlic. We're gonna put a bit of butter. See, the things about the risotto that we all love to eat the risotto, but it's a bit of a pain in the fact that you have to stay there on the stove with the wooden spoon. I like it, but many people, I know that they don't like to do that. So the machine does it for you. So you can go and do something else. We're gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, like this. Then we're gonna put five seconds on speed five. So we blitz everything together. Now, once you've done that, scrape with the spatula, make sure everything goes on the bottom of the bowl here. And we're gonna put four minutes at 120 degrees, speed one. Magic. Where have you been all my life? Okay, so at this point, what we do, we're going to add our tinned chopped tomatoes, goes in there. Then we're gonna pour our rice. You can use carnaroli rice, you can use arborio rice, just make sure that it's a proper risotto rice. So that goes in there, all the grains goes in. Now, what we want to do, we put the lid on, we take the cap off because we're gonna start to cook, and now we're gonna go two minutes, Put this at 100 degrees, and then we're gonna put on reverse blade, this button here, because usually the blades are nice and sharp when you chop something, but by doing reverse, you use the non-sharp part of the blade, so then the grain of rice, they're not gonna get completely smashed up. So now, I means instead of me being with a pan and the wooden spoon, the machine is doing it. This is gonna make me drink more. Okay, now is the time where we're going to add the brandy. We're going to pour two minutes. And again, reverse blade on speed one. All right, now we're going to add our fish stock straight into the hole there. And this is going to give a nice flavor to the rice. Then, cayenne pepper. If you don't have cayenne pepper, paprika will do the job. Put a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're going to taste at the end. So don't over season at the beginning. Yeah? Remember, at the end, just before we serve, we can check for seasoning. So now is the time where we're gonna cover it. So we want 100 degrees for 12 minutes, reverse blades, speed one. Magical. I'm gonna go for a glass of wine now. So we're nearly there. So get your lobster prepared. I'm just gonna use big pieces of lobster, lobster tails, but if you don't want to use lobster, you could use crayfish or even crab. It's gonna be amazing. So just roughly chop your lobster and how cool this is gonna be for Valentine's Day, a beautiful risotto with lobster. How sexy is that? Now, get our lobsters in. We want one minute, 100 degrees, reverse blades on number one. Okay, so, the risotto should be ready. Now is the most important time when you make a risotto. This is called mantecatura, is when you're gonna make the uh, risotto nice and creamy. No need to add any cream or anything like that. You just put butter in there, and then you just mix very gently with your spatula, like this. And the more you mix, and the creamier the risotto becomes. Now look how beautiful, creamy, and shiny the risotto is with the big pieces of lobster in there. Shame that you cannot smell it because it smells fantastical. Okay, now it's time to serve. Now you want to get these big pieces of lobster. Just keep one or two for decoration on top. Look at the creaminess of this risotto. We're gonna pour a little bit of 
chopped chives just before you serve it. You want to put a touch of extra virgin olive oil right at the end. And there you have it, risotto with lobster. Have an amazing Valentine's Day.